After an incredible action-packed day on the water, the seas offshore are rough today, so Jimmy and Louisa decide to stick to land. To make the most of it, they've booked themselves some side-by-sides to see what Mexico's trailways and beaches have to offer. Sergio's ATV Rental, an off-road rental shop owned and operated by local Sergio Avilas, has been around since 2012, and for most tourists staying on the East Cape, there's nowhere they'd rather go if they're looking for some reliable off-road fun. The coastline along the Sea of Cortez offers hundreds of miles of white sand beaches. When you rent side-by-sides like these, it's easy to ride up the coast a few miles and find some quiet beaches away from the resorts and other beachgoers, all the way marveling at the sight of the Sierra de Laguna Mountains rolling into the peninsula. To start, Jimmy and Luisa are heading north along the peninsula towards the coastal town of Buenos Aires. Once there, they'll head inward riding along an empty tributary. It's dry season this time of year, which offers ATVers the chance to motor themselves straight up to La Cienega Waterfall, instead of having to hike to it. It was beautiful when you were taking those ATVs through the canyons and you just have the kind of tall mountains on either side of you and you're just sitting in that big, huge riverbed that actually does flood and fill up with water certain times of year when they have big rains. Right as we were pulling up the waterfall, it started to rain on us. Since we got rained out at the waterfall, we headed back down the riverbed to the beach, down to a place where we knew there were some wild horses. After hitting the waterfall, they got some rain along the foothills, so Jimmy and Louisa decide to head back out towards the peninsula to start north again towards Buenos Aires to see what else they can find. Taking a different route than the one they've taken before sprung on them the kind of beauty that the East Cape has to offer, both expected and unexpected. Along the way, they start passing entire groups of wild horses and indigenous cattle, and they can't help but stop off at a lagoon to get a closer look. The ATVs are always a great way to spend a day. There's so many things you can do on them. You can go fishing, you can just go up and down the beach, you can hang out, you can go to the waterfall like we tried to do, you can check out the horses, go through the desert. I mean, ATVs, your, your possibilities are endless in Baja when you're on a razor. After spending some time with the wild horses and soaking in the sun-dried, salty air, they load the grizzly cooler back up and head south, back towards the resort. Seas may be rough offshore today, but Jimmy and Louisa have no complaints. The Sea of Cortez is something to admire, both from a boat and from its beautiful, endless beaches. If there's an off day from fishing, the whole Buena Vista and the East Cape region has so much to offer. It's not likely one will get bored around here, and to prove it, Jimmy and Louisa head back to the resort, change into some swim gear, and head straight for the pool. There's never much time to wonder what you'll do when the charters aren't rolling out, especially when you've got access to a pool like this at a resort like this one. For more info on the ATV or side-by-side -side rentals, visit www.sergioatv.com.